Hello, every. Oh, gotta put my headphones on. I forgot my headphones. There's gonna be an echo. And of course, as soon as I go live, I remember that. There's no echo. There's no echo. No on, echo. on the YouTube end, there will there will be. Well, screw YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there's always an echo on the YouTube end. I don't have my headphones, and that's why I use the headphones. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Uh, let's plug in and. All right. Somebody say something so I know my headphones are working. Hola. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the World of a College channel. We are coming down to Earth today to play the still unnamed campaign, which I swear if it doesn't get named today, I'm going to pull my hair out, even though I barely have any. Um, I've got everybody with me. Everybody say hi. Hi. Hello. All right. So, last time. The morning of March 11th, Cece, Cassandra Carlisle, Dr. Carlisle, was having a normal day at work at the United Earth Coalition. She was monitoring test subjects for the reality distortion machine. And one thing I forgot to mention... This is apparently becoming a, a pattern for me. One thing I forgot to mention was um, whenever a test subject is affected by the um, by the machine, whenever reality is distorted, there's like a hazy effect on them, kind of like um, heat coming off of the asphalt. There's kind of like that hazy effect around wherever <laughs> is being affected by the machine. After a few successful tests, Cece's boss came into the testing room and told her that all tests for the rest of the day were suspended and that she was to report to the common area for her department. He also mentioned that he heard Wade Mitchell was back at the UEC. When she walked past the guard by the stairs on her way out of the RDM floor, she faintly heard the words, the kids, from the guard's earpiece. In the common area, her coworker Bernie Wilson told her he overheard guards saying Wade's kids were there. I am stumbling over my words here. She decided to investigate and go find Wade. Bernie went with her. They eventually found their way to Larry Fillmore in construction, who told him that the UEC had abducted Wade and his kids to get Wade to finish the RDM project. Larry wanted to help them, but didn't want to risk his and his family's safety, so he arranged for CC and Bernie to be the medical staff responsible for the Mitchell family so they could help. They went to the fifth floor to the empty office space where the Mitchell kids were being held. CC attended to Teresa and told her she was there to help her. She tried, putting some, she tried putting some medical tape over the door so Teresa could escape, but was caught by the guard. When the guard didn't believe her excuse, she punched him in the face. Bernie let the other two kids out of the offices they were locked in. Ryan knocked out the camera, and Cece was able to subdue the guard. They'd already been seen fighting on the camera, however, and four more guards rushed into the room, knocking Bernie to the ground. And that is where we pick up. And I'm going to hit the music. Uh, I think this is the track we had going. You're a track. I'm a track. <laughs> All right. So let me get to the right screen here. Right. Is that the right track? Yes, yeah, the right track. All right, so the guards just came bursting into the room, and all they see is Ryan over by uh, uh, where the camera was, which is now on the floor. And they're looking around, and one of the guards points his gun up at Ryan, and another one says, Are you stupid? Do not shoot the kids. And uh, the one that said that looks at Ryan and says, Where is everybody else? I have no idea. Uh, so this is the one that was, um, the one that was saying that, the one that said, are you stupid, don't shoot the kids. I'm going to mark him in blue so we know he was the one talking. Is the music too loud? Feels like the music's too loud. Music's fine. Music's perfect. I can't hear it, so I don't know. Do you it's mean perfect. on YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube. Oh. Is it too loud? I don't know. Let me listen. 
Let me turn it down. Just turn it down a little bit and you're good. Yeah, just... You can turn it down just a very slight bit. Okay, I turned it up. I'm going to put a blue tint on him so we know he was the one saying that. Okay. This one, um, see he bust in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He moves a little bit that way and starts um, looking, looking around. Um, and he steps this way towards Ryan. Look, kid. We don't want to hurt you. We just need well, you. Well, that makes two of us. I don't want you to hurt me either. <laughs> we just need to know where the doctor is. Uh, there's one right behind you. The other doctor. Oh, that one I don't know. This guy right here kind of has his, uh, he's kind of holding Bernie down. I'm going to put a... I never uploaded my things. Um, I'll just put that on Bernie to show that he's grappled. Um, Alright. Make a deception check, Ryan. Oh. See how this goes. It almost yeah. rolled over to 17. <laughs> Four. <laughs> yes. He turns back and says, uh, I, I don't know what to make of this kid. All right, CC, you're up. Right, the guard there next to me, I can't recall. He is... Tied up, handcuffed. What's what's up with him? I don't recall. Uh, handcuffed. Handcuffed. Um, I want to put tape over his mouth or something so he doesn't call out. Uh, do you have tape big enough to cover his mouth? How how about big is medical tape? It depends on the medical tape. Um. You, um... <laughs> I'll, I'll say you've got some big enough to put over his mouth, yeah. No, tape over his mouth. I guess that would be my action, I suppose. Okay. Um, I want to. I guess. <laughs> pat him down, looking for any other weapons on him, if I can. I right, already got his gun and his baton. Um... Well, it doesn't mean it's everything he has. Yeah. Uh, make an investigation check. Okay. With advantage. With advantage. Come on, dice. Don't hate me today. Please. Hmm. He actually has a little knife hidden in his boot. I want to take his little knife from his boot. <laughs> All right. Uh, add a... Just go ahead and add a regular dagger to your inventory. I'll, I'll be changing it in a little bit, but... For now, just add a regular dagger. I almost do as much damage as by punching. Um, all right, I want to. Uh, that's that's probably my turn. Would be doing that and searching him. Um, yeah. Do you want to move at all, or are you staying in the room? I'll stay in. I want to trade places with Teresa. I don't want. I don't want one of the kids by the door. 
That's fine. We can uh, we can swap out. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. I'll I'll let Teresa move five feet. All right, Bernie's up, and Bernie is struggling to get away from the sky, and he's yelling, "Let me go! Let me go!" These uh, doors swing in, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, but I don't think he's gonna break out of that. No, he's not. He's not gonna break away from that guy. Ryan, you're up. What do you do? I am going to stay right where I'm at. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that I have the gun in my hand. Yep. But it's not up. Okay. Um,. I would like to ready an action to shoot if somebody shoots at me or if somebody else comes out of the room where they're at to attack. Other than that, that's it. Who are you readying to shoot at? Blue. Blue. Okay. Yeah. Teresa, you're up. Okay. So to be quite honest, the only thing I know what to do is uh, that one, that one guard into the front, to the left of us. This, uh, that guy right there. Um, if no one's anything, doing anything with him. I'm going to attempt to grapple. You are currently in the room. Yeah, once I'm going to say once we're like ready. Well, I mean, what, are you doing anything now? I mean, I don't really know what to do right now. Well, that's that's what I'm asking. Are you just are you just going to stay in the room or what? You're going to strategize yeah, just for now. Okay. I'll, Already that if they try and come into the room. Okay. Yeah, and that'll just be. Uh, proxy, what are we doing? Um, she's gonna go and hide behind Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, Sarah. Go behind me. And that's it. All right. Guards are up again. This guard's gonna take a step that way, looking from room to room. This one's gonna take a step up. This one's still got Bernie. And uh, Blue over here uh, says to Ryan, You're sure you don't know where the doctor is? I mean, not really. I turned around, I turned back around, they're gone, and you're standing there. So I don't know where they're at. I think that is what happened. <laughs> I don't think he saw which room yeah. we went into. I mean, I can assume, but honestly, Ryan would have no idea where they're at. He came out of uh, this room... And then came over here, destroyed the camera, and when he turned back around, there's guards standing there and everybody's gone. So, I'm not lying. I mean, you're being, you're being honest. I'm being you really deceitful, don't know. but I'm not lying. Right. So they could still be in one of these rooms. I mean, sure. Your guess is as good as mine. He looks at you. And he turns around. And he clocks the guard behind him in the head with his baton. Uh, 
That's Tyler, okay. not um Teresa. But misses, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn it! I know. I'll give him advantage because he wasn't expecting it. So what do we what do we get here? Surprise! There we there we go. <laughs> I love that. How is the DM going to help the party get out of this? He's going to make one of the guards turn. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cause. And the guard that he hit t turns around and yells, What the fuck? And then he takes another swing. And crits. Oh. Oh, and knocks him and knocks him the fuck out. I'll just—I don't even know what that marker means, but that's going. It's going to be unconscious for now, and knocks him the fuck out. And this guard charges back over. What the hell is going on? Uh, this this one's uh, a bit confused. Doesn't know whether to get off a of burn here to attack that one, but he's gonna come up here. I know he's actually gonna take a shot at the the guard that just knocked the other one out and miss. And uh, Cece, you're up. All right, hearing a gunshot, I'm gonna open the door. Uh, and step out because I don't want Ryan to get hurt or Bernie. So I'm gonna step out. Um, probably see this guard pointing his gun at this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at Ryan. I, I'm just gonna shrug. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Which one do I need to? <laughs> I, I don't really know how to convey that without yelling, but um, I'm gonna be like, I, I guess the one closest to you. I don't know. I'm going to move to here, see that Bernie is being restrained. So I know for sure I need to get this guard off him. Mm -hmm. Even though this one has a gun, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm going to, um, I guess, I don't want to kill them. Um, I'll use the knife as a last resort, but I will punch him. Okay. No, don't roll with advantage. That hits. I guess that's three damage. Not much, but... <laughs> Alright, I guess... Um, that's movement, that's an action. That's my turn. And you punch, punched him in the face, I'm assuming. Yes. Gonna give Bernie advantage on that to get out. And oh my gosh, roll the five and a two. No, he's, he's still held down by oh the guy. Oh my god. Hmm. Ryan, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going oh. to move. I would have told oh. the kids on my way out, stay in here. Okay. I'm gonna move here. I'm still wary about blue guy, but he just attacked the other one, so I'm gonna attempt to shoot this one in the leg. Okay. Uh, 
Uh... Oh my Holy god! Oh. Damn! Damn! Crit! Crit! And 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 then I'm gonna move over here, like out of the way. Um. Yeah. It's you. He passes out from the blood loss of uh, of that shot. Damn it! He's not dead. No. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Now, if if you tell me you go for an unlethal shot, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm I'm gonna be nice. Okay. Especially yes, if I was, I was, I said shoot him in the leg. Especially if you crit, and I, I allow called shots on a crit. So, yeah, he passes out, but he's not, he's not dying. It may not make sense realistically, but I don't care. Well, he blew his leg off. He's just passing out from the pain. It's just a pistol. It's not going to blow his leg off. He's fine. Right. Uh, right. Teresa, do you do anything? So I look, uh, I look to Sarah. So I just heard a gunshot. I kind of want to go out there. Are you going to stay in here? Or are you going to uh, follow? I'll stay in here. Okay. I would prefer it if you did. All right. I'm going to go see what's happening. And Ryan's out there. So I can't. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back for you. All right, so I'm going to look through the window real fast, and um, both of the UEC guards are, may I assume, laying on the ground. Yes, uh, one of them is bleeding from the leg. Wait, okay. do these doors have windows? I thought they were just solid wooden doors. Oh, yeah, you got to peek through. the. You have to open the door and peek through if you want to see through it. Oh, okay. All right, then I'll open the door a tiny bit and peek. I'm not going to fucking whip it open, but I'll right. do it slowly. Um, and that's what I see. So I see the two people on the ground, and then Blue, where is he looking? Uh, right now, he's looking towards this guard. Okay. And CC, so it looks like CC and that guard are targeting that guard from my perspective. Yes. Or does it? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, would you know that blue guy is looking at the guard and not at CC? That's what I'm saying. So I feel like Teresa would go out there and wail on the blue. Wail on blue. I guess um, it depends, cause cause the. I would think the guard in front of me is on the ground because he's 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 down grappling Bernie on the ground, yeah. pinning him down. So if the guard is looking more yeah. down at the ground, he would be looking at the other guard. Yeah. But do I know if he's looking at the guard or Bernie? You probably can't see Bernie. You just see the other guard. Yeah, you know he's looking at the guard. I'm just going to go with that. Well, Libby makes sense. All right, well, I'm still going out there because I don't know fully what the fuck's going on. <laughs> okay. I still run up to blue and I um I go to swing my fist at him, but I want to stop right before I hit him. Oh, whoa, I'm on your side. How do I know you're telling the truth? I'm with Blake. And then I look to Cece. Is he, is he telling the truth? I'm going to kind of shrug, nod, and say, seems like it. I'm watching. I'm gonna, um, 
I'm gonna yell for Ryan. Not loud, but. I'm good. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. I'm satisfied. So as as Teresa runs out, confronts the guard, the guard says, I'm with Blake. This the other guard has Bernie on the ground, Cece's dwelling on him, Proxy is in the room hiding now alone with the guard, and Ryan has dodged behind that wall. Cece, you noticed this first, but um, everybody notices this. The air around you starts to look a bit hazy. Like I described before. Like when... Shit, um, not this stuff again. No, you didn't see that. You don't know anything about this. Yeah, right. Ryan doesn't know anything about this. This... Oh, I was I was thinking you were talking about the smoke stuff. Oh no no no, no 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 no! Like I was describing. No, uh, the the air starts to look hazy, like uh, like heat coming off the blacktop, like I was describing before. Um, but it's all around you. Um, and at first, and and for most everybody, everything seems. The same like nothing's changed but ryan your brain is flooded with all sorts of uh military knowledge all sorts of uh shooting knowledge uh teresa your brain is floated with all sorts of combat knowledge and uh proxy your brain is flooded with all sorts of uh tactical uh tactical knowledge And you can now use your full character sheets at level three. It's like that. It's like that. Uh, uh, that moment where it's like you're looking down at your body and you're like, "Whoa!" Yes. I feel like we would need to make a con save. To <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this change. So proxy now with uh, with your your brain being flooded with all this all this tactical battle knowledge, um, kind of like your oh. your brain can now hack situations and people. What do you do? She's gonna go up to the door and keep it open and peek through. She sees CC on top on fighting that guard. So I'm gonna use my tactical assessment. On that guard, giving everyone advantage <laughs> on any attack rolls nice. against him. Nice. And that's my turn. So you you, you call out a, a like a go for the throat. I hack their mind. Yeah. I hack their minds. <laughs> <laughs> You call out some sort of uh, weak spot on him or something you notice that they could take advantage of. Go for the back of his neck. <laughs> he looks ticklish. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the pinky toe. Go for the toes. And that guard is up. He's going to uh, he's gonna get off of Bernie and um, turn to Cece and try to hit you with his baton. Not gonna be hard. Roll the oh, five. Maybe it will be. <laughs> Yay, he missed. And CC, you're up. Any attack you make on him has advantage. What's the duration I put on that? Until the um, beginning of my next turn. Okay. So everyone has advantage for this whole turn, basically. Okay. On him. All right. Um. I'm going to try to punch him again. Oh. 
That was with advantage, and now he still unfortunately manages to dodge it. Yeah, I can see the dice aren't going to like me today either. Um... Uh, all right, I'm done. I'm the worst soldier medic ever. Uh, you see Bernie scramble to his feet, uh, with, and it looks like he's got a newfound confidence in his eyes. Um, as he, Bernie got a level law. As he pulls, as he rages. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a barbarian. Yeah. As, as he, uh... <laughs> pulls a scalpel out of his bag. Looks like he goes <laughs> into a state of madness. You guys predicted the rage. Yay! <laughs> Woo! I'm so happy! And, that is wholesome. Thank you, Batch. And looks like he's going to stab the guy in the neck, but hesitates and goes down and gets him uh, in uh, um, a gap in his body armor in the shoulder. Doesn't he have to roll for that shit if I have to roll to punch yeah. him? Yeah. With advantage, he rolled a 10 yep. plus... Proficiency would be a 2, plus a strength modifier would be a 3, so a 15. He hits. Good job, Bernie. Good job, Bernie. And that is just a scalpel, so that's going to do a d4 plus his strength, which is 6 damage. Who needs an axe? <laughs> I'm going to look at Bernie kind of shocked, like, dude. <laughs> oh, I oh, didn't get to see it. Oh, plus his rage damage, which is two. Plus two. And that knocks Three, him out. Eight. I'm going to look at the guard fall at my feet and then look at Bernie. <laughs> and just be like, oh, Dr. Wait, what's the last name? Wilson? Yeah. Dr. Wilson. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> As he takes a couple deep breaths, uh, I feel great. That didn't sound very reassuring. <laughs> Alright, so it's Ryan's turn, but all the hostile guards are down. Two of them are bleeding. I do a combat roll. <laughs> I come to right here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the the blue guard and says. I'm like, uh, I point my gun at blue guard. No, 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 no. I'm I'm with Blake. I'm his inside man. Well, one of his inside people. Prove it. Call him. Uh, we don't have time for that. Um, they're going to be sending more. We'll call him while we go. While they're while they're yapping, I want to make sure these guards are stable. Okay, roll medicine checks on both of them. Well, or all three if you want, but the one just got knocked out. I'm gonna go grab Sarah from the room. Do we I have? In, we still in initiative or? Uh, at the moment, okay. no. I don't recall. I don't. Do I have advantage on medicine rolls? You're good, Sarah. You're good. I'm still holding. No, you got ex you got expertise in medicine rolls. Yeah. Yeah. So they're both stable. Um, can I start searching one of the bodies? 
Yeah, with uh, without an investigation check, there's uh, ob in, in plain sight is uh, the gun and the baton. I got in, I got, yeah, I got um advantage on investigation rolls, so. <laughs> well, if you want to roll investigation, go for it. Advantage on investigation. From intelligence expert. Oh, I did. I gave yep. you advantage on intelligence ability checks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You find um, you find um, a knife um, hidden in his uh, on his leg. Well, I would be searching. I would be searching specifically for like um, any cards or any thing that I can, you know, any technology. Oh, um, you find a phone and you find uh, a key card. Uh, I forgot, uh, CC. You would have found a key card on the other guard too. What level key card? Uh, his would have been level, um, well, what's the temporary security clearance I gave you? 10? Would have been level 10. And I'll hand the gun over to, um, Teresa. <laughs> Thank you. Do you keep the Probably knife or the baton? She'll keep both the knife and the baton. Okay. Uh... I, I gesture with my gun to have the blue guy move to here. Listen. And then while still staring him down, I want to search this guard to see if I can get a gun off of him. Yep, he's got a gun, a baton. I take, I take gun, and baton. And of course, I took a cell phone too. So, look, we we don't have time for this. You have to go get your dad. Understandable, but we also don't know if we can trust you. I'm gonna reach for my radio. He reaches for his radio. I keeping an eye. And in a frantic voice, he says, um, what was I going to say? So, they're running down the southeast stairwell. I'm, I'm in pursuit. Okay, that's a start. Now we go the other way. Yes. And yeah. where's where's Wade being kept? I think he's in the machine room. Well, you're going to have to go with us because once these other guards come too, they're going to rat you out. I'm, I'm on board. Okay, as I stand up, I'm going to take the gun from the guard that was holding Bernie down. Right, what and do we I'll, call you, guard? And I'll hand Bernie the knife that I had. Name's Todd Mason. Um, in the room that we've left the other guard in, does uh, did he have any weapons on him? That's He's the already taken them. Yeah, you have his baton, and Ryan has his gun. Okay. Did he have any ammo clips on him left, or did Ryan take those? I did not think about extra ammo clips. Yeah, I would have only grabbed the gun. Because oh. I'm thinking about, like, how much ammo I have in the pistol and if I can get more. Did you take... Oh, you got a gun from the one... Okay. Yeah, Sarah Yeah, gave Teresa has the one this gathered. one's gun. Okay, and Ryan, you what? have two guns? 
I do. I have this guy and this guy. I have this guy's gun. Um, are these pistol automatic? Yeah. I'll say they each have an extra clip of ammunition on them. Add that as a... Oh, we have to add ammunition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Everyone except Proxy has a gun, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. And I think there's one more... Is there one more gun in play other than Todd's? No, you uh, searched that guy. CC took that guy's. Blue have a gun? No, that's that four guns. Good. No, that's four guns. Okay. Yeah, we got them all. Okay. And Proxy has a baton and a knife. Teresa has a baton. CC has a knife. I gave the knife to Bernie. Oh, you gave the knife to Bernie. Okay. Bernie has a knife. Uh... There is modern bullets if we want to. Is that what we're adding? Uh, use that for now, yeah. I, I have custom items, but the way I have it set up, if I if I add the. Because I have a dummy account with a character to add to get all of my custom items in. If I do that, there's a little bit of a spoiler on there, so I didn't want to do that yet. Okay, well, um. They come in bundles of 10 anyway, so it works okay. out great. Yeah. So I'm going to add just one, or do I add two? Add two, and you didn't take a shot. You took one shot, so add two and then take a shot away. No. Sorry, second, I'm not listening for a second. Take a, take a, a Take a shot away from both bundles. Because you pulled the gun off the guy who took a shot. Was it this one that took a shot, or this one? Uh, that was this. Because he's the one that got knocked out. Oh, he's out. the one that got knocked out. No, it's that one. Took, no, you're right. I'm sure, this is thrilling to watch. <laughs> Ammo. Just for so, this whoever has I this gun. Item maintenance, the game. <laughs> Which I think is the one that Teresa has. Yeah, so Teresa, add a bundle of uh, ammunition, modern ammunition, and then... So, okay. bullets modern. Bullets modern, yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, are there any clips on the one in the room, or no? Yeah, they each have an extra clip. Alright, I'm gonna go steal the, the clip in the, guys, in the room. And cool. I'm just gonna delete that other one that you made. Okay. That's, I have I've got the actual pistol now. So Pro Proxy's going to be the first one to ask, did y'all feel that weird thingy too? Oh, I just thought it was an adrenaline rush. All this tactical knowledge just flowed in my head. Come to think of it, I'm able to think more clearly about all that stuff that I learned in school. Oh, I really know how to beat the fucking shit out of someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I that's a given, to Teresa. <laughs> and Ber Bernie says, and uh, now I just want to hurt people. Great. That's okay, Mr. Hyde. danger over here. That's fun. Yay, I have a tornado warning. Oh, that sucks. I liked my Mr. Hyde joke. Now that I got his phone. That was funny. What do I do? <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, well, so we, we got to head get north. Out of here. Yeah, we get out of here. Before we're Todd. Um, 
just because uh, Teresa said she wanted to take the other clips. Are you taking all of them? Or are you giving them out? Um, yeah. If I grab all of the clips, I will distribute them. Okay. So maybe the... we should maybe we should drag all these unconscious bodies into the room and lock them up. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna start dragging one. Wait. Uh, sorry. How many clips did I round up? Uh, three, four, well, CC would have found an extra one in the guard in that room, if we're going with that. Yeah. Uh, so three from those guards. I'm going to have Bernie help me drag this guy and carry this guy into this room real quick. All right, so I'll get a clip, CC will get a clip, and then Ryan will get a clip. Oh. Hey. Okay. Wait, Ryan should be able to dual wield. To... <laughs> I should be able to dual wield. <laughs> Maybe later. Alright. Oh, I put the wrong... Oh, that was for gravel. Um, so this 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 guy's uh, still stuck in the handcuffs. He's got his mouth taped. When you open the door, he um, when you open the door to drag the first guy in. I'm just gonna move these back out here. He tries to escape. Wait, what? The guy that's in the room with his hands cuffed and his mouth taped. Mm -hmm. When you open the door to drag um, one of the unconscious guards in, he tries to get out. Because his legs still work. <laughs> well, not for long. No, um, <laughs> he's going to try to go past us yeah. as we're carrying this dude in. <laughs> um, Um, I just like, go over and punch him in the face. I could just see Teresa doing a Spartan kick right in his chest. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's what I'm gonna try and do. All right, roll the hit. Bam! Yep, that hits. And yeah, you could roll minimum, and that's gonna that that uh, knocks him the fuck out. Yeah, I blow him into the fucking wall, bro. <laughs> All right. So as Todd is rushing you and helping you, you load the guys in the room and shut the door. All right, take us to take us to wait, Todd, and then we gotta get out of here. They're gonna be in this. They're gonna be following the the southeast stairwell. It's not gonna hold them for long, but uh, if we head southwest or any of the other stairwells, we should be able to make it down. Just, just, just lead us. Okay. You know, if I destroy this um the card reader, they won't be able to get into the door as easily. We don't have time for that. It would throw them off and make them slower. I could punch it. It doesn't matter. It. Sarah, as as just, we're just let it go. As we're leaving, I just shoot it. Which card reader? Well, the one on the which one are we talking about anyway? The one I on the would say like it. the one that like here that leads into this area. Okay. Just basically to, to shut Sarah up. <laughs> Ryan shoots it. Oh, that's great. And I wait until after, you know, everybody's out. Just in case. I don't know if it locks the door down. I don't know about I, technology. I don't, <laughs> I don't have control of Bernie, so you're going to have to move Bernie back. Oh, okay. All right. 
and Kaplawi. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to roll? No. Okay. I will take a shot off. Okay. Alright, he leads you down um, floor after floor down the uh, the south um, southwest staircase. And you get to down to the, the first floor. Um, now the staircase gets off at the first floor. It doesn't go that staircase doesn't go down to the machine room. You have to get onto the first floor and go down um, go to a different staircase because the the machine room is actually bigger than the footprint of the rest of this building. Um, so the staircase doesn't it doesn't match up. So Todd leads you stealthily from that staircase to the door. Which is just a small walk down the hallway. And uh let's see roll D one hundred here. A couple of workers kind of notice you, but they don't say anything. They just see a guard escorting a group of people and one of the doctors with them, and they don't really say anything. So Todd leads you to the door. And two doctors, actually. Two doctors, yeah. Wait, 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 my bad. Hey. Two doctors, yeah. Um, I'm not trying to be that guy, but what did they say about the weapons we have? I'm assuming you've like put them in your pants or something. Yeah, yeah. I assume well, we're going to sure. have hit them. Yeah, concealed yeah. them. Okay. All right, yeah, just make sure. Oh, I should have deleted that stairs. Everything okay over there, Libby? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I unmuted, but I, I'm I'm watching the weather real quick. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm making sure you're gonna be okay. I was wondering where the fuck that sound was coming from. I was like, nothing's on. What the hell's happening? Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm just making sure you're gonna be okay, Libby. That's all. Yeah, no, so far it looks like at the moment. Okay. change up the tracks. Head down and start heading down into the machine room. Okay, I need to copy Bernie. Ryan, you're up. I'm just gonna roll with the same initiative order. Um, it didn't carry over. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay, then. Uh, oh. That's right. It doesn't carry over from from page to page. I forgot. We can re-roll them. Um. Our, oh, there we are. Where am All I? All right. Bernie rolled a 20. Woo! Bernie's the NPV this. MVP, rather. And that didn't even include his uh, advantage from being a barbarian. I got a 24. <laughs> Um, I have advantage on initiative because of assassinate. 
the third level feature gives me advantage on initiative rolls and during first round i have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn i have it from my class feature remarkable athlete Waiting on Zumi. Huh, I didn't send the guard. Zumi? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Zumi, go bye bye. Oh. Huh. Damn. Huh. Add turn. Add turn. Nine, sixteen, Teresa, fifteen, I shall roll for proxy so we can get the ball rolling. Oh, there hey. she is. My internet quit, so I had to turn on my hot, hot spot on my um, phone to connect. Okay, do you want to roll initiative? Uh, hold on just a second, gotta refresh. Yeah. Okay. Closed out everything. There we go. Okay. Roll initiative. Sorry about that. Well, oh, I already got it. I've already got it. I rolled it a 16 for you, but I was wondering if you wanted to roll it instead. Or do you want to go with the 16? I'll just go with the 16. Just okay. So, Ryan, you're still up. All right. Uh, I look at Todd, and I'm like, are we taking them out? Uh, don't recommend killing them, but do what you can. Or do what you have to. Okay. Is this door closed or open? Um... Like, can we see that guard right there? It's currently wouldn't, closed. Wouldn't and CC do we know which way it goes? Be closer to the guard up here where Ryan is. Sure. Because she wouldn't want the kids up front. She'd want Bernie and herself up closer to the front. Okay. I would have been, uh, like, right behind Todd. Like, because okay. I was watching him. I'm still wary of him. Uh, does the door open this way or towards the stairs? It opens. Hallway, whatever it is. opens out. This way. Okay. Um. And are they just wooden doors? They're metal. Okay. Probably like fire uh, door. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I just wasn't entirely sure. All right, I just. And we gotta run up and kick the door open. And try to uh, knock him out of the way in the process. You aren't gonna know there's anybody on the other side of the door. Oh, do they not have like little windows? Uh, no, these doors don't, no. Oh. Well, then. I don't do anything. Oh. Because, okay. like, I know that we're going to be going in there, but I, I, I'm assuming that they're going to want to go through the door first, so Is there a I hold an action. No. Now, CC, Bernie, and Todd would know that there's almost always a guard stationed yeah. at every door, but the kids wouldn't. Yes. Right. So, I'm just going to hold an action to uh, shoot somebody in the leg if I happen to see anybody when that door is open. Now, now Bernie would know that he can run up and shove that door open and try to hit that guard because 
And that's... So, yeah, I just ready in action. And I guess that's exactly what Birdie's going to do. Let's, uh... Let's make an athletics check with advantage since he's raging. A 16 plus, what's his bonus going to be? Proficiency plus strength, that's 521. Yeah, that door busts open and knocks the guard on his ass. And Bernie goes right through. 5, 10, 15. Let's see, bonus action, rage, action to do the athletics check. It's 15 feet of movement. There's a third level barbarian has how much? 30? 15, 20, 25, 30. And that guard is surprised I'm not giving him uh, an attack of opportunity. Uh, so now can Wasn't I see him? Prone? The door is bust open, he, he's prone and you can see him, yeah. Well, that would trigger my uh, held action to shoot him in the leg. Okay, go for it. And uh, it would be disadvantage because, because he's, he's prone. prone. Advantage because he hasn't taken his turn yet. <laughs> so it's a straight roll. Okay. Dang it. Ah, uh, no, it misses. So Alrighty. I would like to vote. If Bernie is not raging, he's Bernie. But if he's raging, it's Bernie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pro uh, Proxy, you're up. I skipped you by accident, but you're up. Are we hidden down these stairs? You're at the uh, top of the stairs. Okay. So can I get a sneak attack in? Um... Dude, what are you trying to do? Throw my attacker at him. Uh, you would have dis bit. you would have disadvantage for two reasons. One, you're at long range, and two, he's prone. So you can't get sneak attack when you have disadvantage. Okay, I'll just run up to him and stab him in the leg bin. Okay. Which I would have advantage on because he's prone. I was going to say to be advantage because he's prone for a melee attack. Yep. Which means you can't get sneak attack. That hits. And Proxy draws her first blood. Ignore the sneak attack. Why am I ignoring the sneak attack? Oh, it's still sneak attack? Yeah, because you had advantage. Okay. Oh, okay, then yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So 15. But oh, no, wait. The guard, Hold on. the guard knows that we're here now because Ryan shot at him, so why would it be a sneak attack? Right now, I'm getting confused. Sneak He's attack prone, attack. so she has advantage. If she has advantage, she gets sneak attack. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I did have sneak that right. Sneak attack doesn't necessarily mean that you're not noticed. That's just the usual way of getting it. Sneak attack can also mean that you just happen to hit it in a spot that they weren't expecting. If yeah, finesse up under attack, if you have advantage on the roll. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was right. Yeah. Yeah. So I deal 15 damage. Yeah, yeah. Like. Uh, proxy draws her first blood and he passes out. Wait, and did I know, did I mention she was screaming when she did it? <laughs> she was... Well, now they know we're definitely here. Yeah, she was screaming when she did it. She went in screaming. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Todd's up. Might uh, as well 10, just walk in 15, now. 20. Looks at you and says, "Damn, kid." He's gonna dash. Right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Teresa, you're up. Alright. I'm going to um, 
I'm gonna. I, I like this thought. I'm gonna run up the stairs. Stop. Look at the look at Sarah and look at the body. Look back down at the stairs. And I tell Cece, I'm like, oh, you're gonna need to stitch that. And then I start running. <laughs> I keep running. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm obviously gonna dash, so I have seven more feet. Watch that. You should be uh, right, right next to Todd. You started right next to him, I think. Yeah, I was just right saying, behind him. Sure. Yeah. And I'm all set. Hearing the commotion, five, ten. I should come over here. I do have my gun out and my baton in my left hand. Just you know. Twenty-five thirty. Hearing the commotion, uh, this guard's gonna run up, see Todd, with everything behind him, look at Todd, and ask, what, what are you doing? And Todd uh, turns around, looks at Teresa, and says, Trying to stop them from getting to their father, of course. Make a deception check. Nine against his insight. Seven. The guard believes him. Okay. <laughs> Cece, you're up. I'm gonna look at Ryan and say, what the hell are they teaching kids in school these days? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's a weird one. Okay. Oh wait, that was that was his. Oh no, he can dash. So I'll put him there. Um, knowing that the guard was like going, like coming up to us, I would have just put like my hands behind my back because I have my pistol and the baton out. So it just kind of looks like I'm standing at attention in a way. My hands on okay. the back. Technically, that would be at ease, but okay. <laughs> Thank you. No, genuinely, I couldn't remember. Yeah, attention, your hands will be at your side. Unless you're holding a rifle, then they'd be in front of you. I got rid of all that military knowledge a while ago. I need to do a refresher course, but I do remember that. So what are you doing, Cece? Uh... Let's see, I've moved up to here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up to here. And... Oh, I've seen Teresa trying to hide her weapons and not attacking. So I'll move up to here and put my free hand on Teresa's arm. Like up on her like um, bicep area, and say, "Oh, these test subjects." I um, fakingly, I kind of like nudge my arm away from you and say, "Get that ugly hat away from me." Do you call me an ugly hag? Hat, ugly hat. Hat. You have a hat on in your picture. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do. The the guard says, but we don't test on... Oh, no, she's an adult. Never mind. She's an adult. Um, yeah, Teresa's 18. Yeah, but Todd just said he was trying to stop her from getting to her father, and Cece just said something different. 
So the guards are going to look from Todd to Cece and then back to Todd and say, something's not adding up here. And then when he's... Uh, oh, no, it's not my turn. I'm sorry, I can't do that. No. Ryan, you're up. Uh, okay. The 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Bonus action dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then I'm just kind of looking at the situation and not really understanding. Like, because of the way that they're all acting. Mm. And then I'm just like, where's where's my dad? Your dad is right where he needs to be. Well, take me to him. That's not happening. I'm assuming he has half cover. I'll call it half cover, but if you crit fail, you're going to hit CC. Um, I think I can ignore half cover. You're still going to hit yes, CC I... if you crit fail, because technically that should be full cover, but I'm being nice. Okay, well, I'm going to attempt anyway. Hopefully I don't shoot CC in the back. Yeah, let's hope not. You might want to tell her to cover her ears. Holy crap. Oh, damn. And there is a, 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 a person within five feet, so sneak attack does count. Where were you aiming? Um, the, it would probably be shoulder, mainly just due to the fact that I can't get to a leg, which is where I've been shooting. Okay. Yeah, that knocks him the fuck out. Cece's gonna look at Todd and just shake her head like, what the fuck? Kids these days? <laughs> Apparently, jeez. Now take me to my dad. <laughs> He's just determined. 5, 10, 15... You can move through friendly space, it costs double movement, so 25, that'd be 35, I'm just going to pop him right there, on top of the dead guy, or the, the down guy. Proxy. I'm just going to move, there. <laughs> and I can't do anything else, so yeah. Todd, uh, before he goes around the corner, kind of um, says, I'm going to sneak up to the door, follow behind me quietly. I'm sure they heard the gunshot, but be ready. Teresa. So then I started shooting. No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> So That's I, not my god! <laughs> Alright, so I have six feet of movement. So, I'm not gonna follow behind him. Um, this door that is to the left of us is. is is that door locked? Yes. Damn. Okay, so what I'm going to do. You can ask someone for a key card. They have like three of them. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, I'm going to ask. I'm if they took the key if... cards. I assume they did. CC should yes. have. Yeah. yeah. 
Bernie, CC, and Proxy should each have one. Yeah, I'm gonna ask for a key card so I can go into this room and sneak around. Ooh, smart idea. Do you want to follow me, Sarah? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I missed wait, it. Uh, wait, you're not gonna know that there's another door into that room. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. I, d I didn't know if oh, I missed yeah. that being said. Oh yeah, no, you're right. I'm just gonna try it. Yes. <laughs> A little bit of metagaming because you can see the map, but I'll I mean, allow it. to be completely honest and to be fair, every single one of these rooms has a door that goes through the whole thing. So I'm not you fully metagaming. Know, you don't. No, you're 100 you percent metagaming. That. Well, yeah, you don't know that. I just said, yeah. <laughs> You've only yeah, seen. Yeah, because we we haven't rooms. been down here. Right. Well, either way, I Teresa would have just been curious to see if she could sneak around. She Bio could. Happy. She could ask Cece, "Where's that door go?" Yeah. Cece, where does that door go? <laughs> <laughs> um, it goes into an observation room to observe the the machine room. I'm assuming these are windows. Yeah, and there's there's also a door into the machine room. Right. And I'll say there's. There's windows to observe the machine room and a, another door into the machine room. They're also okay. the, the testing rooms that you used. Doesn't matter. I know. To tell the kids that, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. just say they're observation rooms. Okay. So now, Teresa, you may borrow the, the key card and go in. Thank you for the key card. Yep. I'll follow right after you. Ten, twenty, twenty-five, three. I swipe the key card. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. Um, Level ten clearance. It works. Cool. 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 From where I am right now. Can I see um, my father and that other person? Uh, yes. And I fucked my mouse up. Okay. Damn, I don't know if these windows are bulletproof. Why would you shoot the other doctor? Well, if the doctor's with him, then I assume that's the one that's keeping him held captive. I don't know. Why would you assume a doctor is it? <laughs> because there's evil doctors? I don't know. The doctor's probably looking at the test subject or whatever if there's a... Well, I mean, I only know the only person that's weighed there, so that's what I'm going off of. But I'm either way gonna sneak up to the door next to it and just hide behind it. I'm gonna dash. Okay. Yeah, you can just get to the door. All right, and I, uh, I'll just stand right here for now. Uh, why do I use this? Nope. Yup. So as you go through, you notice Wade notices you through the through the window. Okay. And you see this guard walk past the window over to the door as he noticed you as well. Let's rumble and tumble. I'll kick your fucking ass. <laughs> That was a bit low for a female character. I hit the enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. You hear the door you hear the door beep and he opens it up and takes a step in and swings his baton at you. 
And I that don't think that hits because that you have hit. like ridiculous armor. Oh my god, that's right, the armor. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit if I still yeah, I still have armor, that doesn't hit. Yeah, your armor should be AC eighteen. Oh, what do I need to add? Because I got a uh, um, the vest thing. I was going to say, I don't have it. That's why I thought it was 13. Um, where's... Uh, for Proxy and Ryan, your armor class is 13 plus your dex mod. 18. Okay. What? 18. Okay. Wait. 13 What's plus your, your dex mod. Oh, dex. Okay. Sorry. 16 then. Sorry. And Ryan's is 17. 17. Yeah, just. I was looking at dex save, not dex yeah. mod. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna find something that would be equal to it. CC, you're up. All right, I am going to move up to here. Um, and nod at Todd for whenever he's ready to go in. Okay. So I would like to maybe ready in action to. I don't want to shoot anybody. I saw an I saw enough of that in the military. Try to punch someone in the face. Okay. Ryan. Okay. Um. I would have I'm heard. A little disturbed at how quickly all these kids are just shooting people. <laughs> well, I mean, we did just have that that wave thing happen. Does it make you crazy? Um, they also kidnapped us and took our dad. That could make you crazy. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that could make you crazy, but... I mean, I haven't killed anybody. Oh, Teresa, did, did you say anything or make a noise when the guard attacked you? Um... Yeah, because I'm wondering if I would have heard a commotion in there. Well, I mean, since he didn't really hit me, I don't... Well, okay, so I was going... I was preparing myself to literally go into combat, and I heard him coming, and he comes through and doesn't actually hurt me and doesn't get kind of close to it. I don't think I would have made any loud noises. If anything, I probably would have made from, like, a grunt or two from taking the hit. Okay, then Ryan, you wouldn't have heard anything. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, Teresa said that Sarah was going to follow her that way, so I'm going to go this way. 25. 30. Um, I feel bad for uh, uh, shooting so close to CC beforehand so i am going to ready an action to shoot him in the leg if i get a clear shot okay but other than that i am done bernie's up five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty right behind cc proxy um, I'm gonna go into the store, and then I see him. Bonus action dash. 
and stabby stabby. <laughs> With a sneak attack. <laughs> that means I get advantage, correct? You're five feet within me, you, you get it either way. You don't have advantage, you have sneak attack. Sneak attack, rather, yeah. I love how Proxy has gone from hiding from everybody and everything to just stabbing everyone. If I'm being honest, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I think it's kind of cool because I just thought about this. I have a high AC, but I'm mainly ranged. And Sarah has a low AC, but they do a lot of high damage. That's just like, I feel like that's that big sister, little sister combo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Because I do, I do damage from a distance, but I have a high AC, and then you have lower, but you do a lot of damage up close. It's just, it's just cool. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. She didn't uh, scream this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, after the... So this is all happening quickly. After the, the guard uh, runs in and goes after Teresa, you hear... I didn't, I didn't expect... I should expect the, the guard to go down, but I didn't expect the guard to go down that quick forgot you were going to get sneak attack on that turn um but uh you hear you hear wade uh shout at the guard no leave her alone and he goes uh to he kind of lunges away from the machine to oh yeah i should describe the scene wade did the machine and there's a doctor uh there next to him um he starts to move away from the machine and towards that room but the doctor actually pulls out a gun and points it at him. And he stops. And I then, knew it! And then, um... Dr. Fairweather. Um, he sees Proxy run into the room, and he just tells Sarah, no! And then hears the guy scream in pain, and then he smiles and says, <laughs> It worked. Um, who can hear this? I was going to say, can I hear that? Teresa and Proxy can hear that because that door is open. My passive is 13. No, you cannot hear it. Okay. I, look, I just look over to Sarah. I offer a fist bump. I assume she gives it back. Yeah. Yeah. And I say, yeah. did he do this? Like, did Wade do this? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Alright, Todd is gonna um, take his key card. He's gonna open the door. He's gonna look, see the doctor, see the guard, and he's gonna hit the guard with his uh, baton. and deal four damage. And he's gonna try again. And the guy's gonna dodge this time. And you said, Ryan, you said you're running an action for when you had a clear shot? That is correct. You have actual half cover this time, which for you is a clear shot. Alrighty. That's going to hit, and that's going to take him down. As Todd flinches from the gunshot, looks back at you and says, Fuck, dude. What? Clear shot. I took it. <laughs> Teresa, you're up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So what I'm gonna do? Probably Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm sorry. I don't know that reference, unfortunately. No. But what I am gonna do? Is, what's the material of this floor? May I assume it's like, like what, like concrete, some fucking. The floor. Um... See, I couldn't decide what, what I wanted the floor to be. If I wanted it to be a tile or a metal or a concrete right, or so what. Um, let me I'm going to go with a concrete since it's underground. 
It's so. shag carpet. The place was built in the 70s. Shag carpet. Shag pipe. I'm gonna go with gonna go with concrete since it's underground. Um, may I assume if I shoot a bullet at the ground, it's gonna bounce? No. No, that's not how concrete works. Mm-hmm. It go right into the concrete. See, that's why I ask because I don't. It might skip across it a little bit, but it's not gonna like yeah. ricochet around the room. Probably, it's not. Yeah. I just want to shoot works. at the doctor's, like, like near the doctor's feet, and then, uh, like, walk up as I'm as I'm doing that and say, "Give me one reason why I shouldn't hold you at gunpoint even closer than I am now." Okay. Um. So I'll I'll roll to hit the floor near her. If you crit fail, does that mean you hit her? <laughs> no, not the foot. <laughs> hit the foot. <laughs> He's aiming at the, or she's aiming at the floor, so. Oh, can I do an intimidation check with that one? Yeah, go ahead, roll for intimidation. You're gonna move, though? Yeah, sorry, I just, I have, they're on different screens. I have to go back and forth. How is your dex higher than mine? I tried to make a balanced character, so <laughs> mine's like, mine's pretty even kill across. Oh, I just noticed that... Teresa gets a plus seven. Mm-hmm. And ranged weapons are dex based, I thought. So I'm a fighter, and I have the archery fighting style. Oh! Okay. Yeah. That makes sense, though. So, like, my character is, like, a fighter ranger, but it's all fighter, but I can do combat, fist-to-fist stuff, and I specialize in shooting from afar, but I'm a fighter. You're a ranged fighter. Yeah. Uh, the doctor, with with her gun pointed at Wade, flinches and kind of raises her gun and her other hand. It's too late. He's activated the machine. He started the process. And Wade well, I can said, definitely tell. Wade said, Teresa, don't shoot her. Why? These people kidnapped you. They're literally holding us captive and making you do stuff behind, against your will. We can get out of here. As he takes the doctor's gun from her. I just need time to reverse this process and lock it down again and then we can get out of here um while they're talking does everyone else want to come into the room yeah i assume we would have heard him say that and uh gonna close these doors behind us and see if there's a way to lock them Maybe take one of the batons and shove it into the door handles. Okay. And come over to this room and see if I can lock that door and see if I can lock that door or have Bernie go lock that door or something. Okay. Barricade the door. I mean, they'll open with key cards, but... Um... Well, if there's something blocking it. Yeah, there's some tables in the room you could move to block the door. That'll hold them for a bit. Um, Proxy, you approach Wade. Yeah. Any way I can help? Uh, no, this is a bit above your uh, expertise level. Uh, <laughs> 
Just... Yeah, try that again. What? Yeah, but yeah, but I just I mean I said try that again. She a bit different now, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever you did, woken something in us. Yeah, while I was doing what they wanted me to do, I uh I put in a little something extra for you three and for Mr. Wilson over there. I heard over the radio that he was part of the little coup, so figured I'd help out. Oh yeah, but nothing for CC. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> well. I heard you could. I heard you could already hold your own. No, nope. CC didn't say anything. Oh, okay. but it's um, no, <laughs> really. We saw how CC rolled. She can't hold shit. <laughs> um, CC's gonna look at Wade and be like, "What the hell have you taught your kids?" Jesus, Wade. I mean, I just took out three guys on my own. <laughs> now just so, give me, three. give me, watch my back, give me a minute to work, and don't kill anyone. Of course not. You know well, me better than that. So far, the only person that's come close to killing somebody was Sarah. <laughs> he starts working yeah. with the console. Um... I want to show the. I don't want to interrupt the flow. I'll show it later. I'll show it to you guys later. Uh, I have a 3D I wanna... model. I have a 3D model of the machine, but I'll just show it later. I'm not worried about showing the, the audience. No offense, audience. I want to try to get um, the other doctor to back up against the wall over here. Over where? Well, well he's like, like over here. Well, he's working on the machine. CC's gonna talk to Dr. Fairweather and tell her you have to leave this company, Dr. Fairweather. They're not doing anything good. You don't think I know what we're doing? And you're okay with it? Of course I am. This will end climate change and put us at the forefront. of all environmental progress going forward. I but don't you, think it's that simple. You and these kids just had to ruin it. And as Wade's working away at the console of the machine, you hear him say, what the f What? What is the ages protocol? Judy. Is this you? And Dr. Fairweather says, I have no idea what you're talking about. Wade says, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm locked out. This, this protocol is taking over the machine. I can't do anything. And as he's doing that, you hear, <laughs> Um, you hear, um, 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 the door that, the doors that you barricaded, um, you hear people trying to, to bust through and push the tables out of the way, and you hear, um, uh, people trying to break through the, the main door that you put the baton through. Um, and... Proxy, you notice this most because you're standing right behind him, but everybody notices Wade is kind of going into a panic, trying to trying to tap on the screen, type away on the keyboard, do whatever he can, but nothing's working. He says, I, I, I can't fix it, and this ages protocol is taking over, and I don't know what's going on. And... Sarah, can you try anything? Is there a power cord? Can we just unplug it? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Um, there's, um, there's, there's an emergency shutoff switch, but it, it, because of the way it's powered, it takes a few minutes to actually power down. I mean, we can try it. It's, it's in the corner over there. Hmm? So hit the e-stop. That's right. The e-stop. The e-stop. Yeah, we got, we got to lock it out, tag it out, hit the e-stop. Exactly. We can gotta, try. Gotta lock it, out, tag out, and hit the e-stop. 
well, technically. Well, hit the east up and then lock out, tag out. We've never, <laughs> used, we've never used it before. We don't even know if it works. But it, this... well, you know, for OSHA, they need to be testing those e stops <laughs> quarterly to make sure they're still functional. I work <laughs> in the conveyor industry. <laughs> uh, CC would know that this 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 secret lab is not OSHA approved. Uh, it's it's in the corner over there, and he points over there. It's no, that's that's stupid. It would not uh, be in the corner. Where would it be? <laughs> An e-stop would be right by the machine. Right yeah, the it machine. would literally be like right on it. Oh, okay. It would be on the machine. I'm so happy I have maybe, you too. Maybe around back, but it would be on the machine. It would be accessible near the operator. And if the operator's up here, it would be like like right like like near the control panel. Okay. Alright. Maybe maybe it's on it's on either side because they made it wrong. Well there could be one on each side. Alright, I'm gonna try it. And he opens the panel for the e stop button and he pushes it. And nothing happens. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Like they would have an emergency stop for this machine. And you see Judy over there laughing. I thought just about enough of her. <laughs> And it's right about that time that the guards bust into the room. And so then I started shooting. <laughs> then I started shooting. Kids, kids, you, you have to go. Wade, you're coming with us. I can't leave. Well, we're not going anywhere without you. <sighs> One second, I need to plug my headset into charge. If it wasn't for us meddling kids, OSHA would have a few. <laughs> I almost said meddling kids. I kind of wanted to. What am I supposed to do with your kids, Wade? You have to come with us. <sighs> I, I need to stay, I need to fix, I need to stop this ages protocol, whatever this is, I need to fix this. I started this. I'm gonna shoot a does gun. It, does it look like there's anything that can be like, shot to make it stop, like any... Like, what's the machine doing? Teresa, you miss. Um, it looks like the, the, the screen is, um, there's a couple, um, interfaces on the screen and one of them looks like it's running a bunch of computer code and the others look like they have, um, uh, some sort of inputs you can do on touch screen and right. nice Ryan. But, but you said that like test subjects can be put here, right? So what does the machine, why don't you just pull up that 3d model for us? <laughs> The test subjects are in these rooms. They don't actually go into the, the machine. It had the hoses okay. and stuff that come out of it and into each room. Oh, that's right. I remember that. But I shot this one. The machine runs on... Um, CC, CC knows this, but it runs on a, quote, mysterious power source. Or a mysterious energy field, I think is how I termed it. And uh, Wade, Wade says, we don't exactly know how this thing works. And I was the lead engineer, and I can't even explain to you how it works. Well, you obviously can't stop it right now. You have to come with us. I know your plan is probably to have Wade die, and then we're stuck with these damn kids, but... Alright, Teresa, you took a shot. 
Ryan, it's not your turn. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the guards are up. Um, I thought we were out of initiative order, but okay. <laughs> Where's yep. Todd? Todd is... Oh, why is he underneath the other guards? Sub somewhere over here. There we go. Oh, because I'm dumb. I should have moved him up into the room before, so let's just do that. Okay. Uh, this guard I don't think he would have left Bernie behind. I think Bernie would be further up. <laughs> So this, this guard has on more, um, well, let me check my sheets. Of course I don't have it up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to convey how this guard looks a little bit more beefed up. Uh, he's got a little bit better armor on. Um, he's Which like he's one? this one right here. I will tint him in red. He's got like a full helmet. Makes it look like he's wearing uh, yeah, uh, 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 like SWAT gear, but yeah, beef here. And he's going to try and grab Wade and throw him to the ground. And fail miserably. Well, that's assuming Wade rolls poorly. And he did! Look at oh, that. Shouldn't uh, Sarah be able to give, like, the help action as a reaction since she's right yeah. there? Yeah, As a reaction? Yeah. No. Um, these guards are going to move up. And that one is going to go after Ryan because he's uh, pushing back Dr. Fairweather and try to hit you with his baton in the stomach and miss horribly. This one's going to attack Todd. Miss. And the other one's going to attack Bernie. And miss. Oh, I am rolling very poorly. Cece, you're out. You sure are. Yeah. But don't feel bad because I am too. Um... Well, I just completely... Where did my character sheet go? There it is. Um, As the guards got weight on the ground, he's yelling at Cece and Proxy. And the kids, go. Get out of here before the room is flooded with these guards. I'm going to say, you're coming with us. Bernie. Grab him. And I'm going to pull my pistol out, and I'm going to shoot at the guard that is... Uh, that that uh, threw Wade to the ground. I'm gonna aim for, like, shoulder. Okay. Arm. Not, just, just not center mass. Okay. Let's see, I do have, um, I'm just double checking my abilities. Make sure you're keeping track of your ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to track ammo in this campaign since we're using guns. Are we doing reloading? Yes. Reloading okay. is a bonus action or an action. Okay. I get to ignore it. No, you get to ignore the loading property. Which... Spoiler alert is going to matter. Mm, 
ignore the loading property of firearms. Wouldn't that be reloading? Uh, not reloading. Well, oh! What's the difference? Uh, it literally has loading in the name. <laughs> it's loading yeah, I'll again. let you. I'll let you ignore reloading as well. I'm sure that's why you took it. Okay. That is why well, I it's... took it. Okay. Uh, but that hits. That hits. I'm gonna have to look and see what the difference is. Um, look later. Look later. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back to where I, the damage is. It looks like the it looks like his armor absorbed most of that damage. Cause I have a teeny tiny gun. Um, do I have any bonus actions? I don't think I do. I uh, just my second win. Um, yeah. All right, that's it. Okay, Ryan, you're up. So those batons, uh, what would that be? In for, for inventory purposes. Since uh, I had grabbed one from... Grab a short sword meant... and just do bludgeoning damage. Okay. I, I meant to ask earlier, and I didn't. Okay. I'm going to attempt to bludgeon him in the stomach, since that's what he did to me. I think that would ignore sneak attack because. Yeah, we're ignoring sneak yeah, attack. So it, it ignores sneak attack on that. Uh, and then I'm going to Ooh. move away. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And I want to attempt to hide behind the machine. Okay. As my bonus action. And since you have quick strike, he cannot make an opportunity attack against you. Correct. Uh, do, you, do I need a roll stealth? Uh, y yes. Okay. Bernie's up. And you told Bernie to grab who? Wade. Okay, I wasn't sure if you meant grab the guard, like try to get him off of Wade. You meant grab Wade. Yeah, grab Wade. We're taking him with us. All right, he's gonna try to, or not try, but he's gonna help Wade off the ground and fireman carry him. Yeah, and Wade's gonna resist because he's trying to tell everybody to get out of there. He needs to stay. And Bernie's going to get him up in a fireman's carry. Get over here! 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. 30. 30. Proxy, you're up. I'm going to hit him with the, um, the baton. Right? Yeah. And... Miss. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually going to miss him. Well, hold a section, disengage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tyler's going to try and take that guard down with his baton. He's going to crit, which is max, plus the roll, which is going to be max is six, so nine. And he has a second attack, so he's going to try again. And another crit. Why well, I'm rolling. Them. I'm rolling well with Todd, but that's it. Wow. Todd the god. And Bernie. I'm rolling well with Todd and Bernie. The I mean, I'm okay with characters more like. I'm okay with you uh, 
wasting all your good rolls on the people helping us. Oh gosh. This is not going well for me. As uh as Bernie is running away with uh running away with Wade, um the the screen on the machine starts flashing red and alarms start sounding in the room. And Wade tells Bernie, wait, wait. And Bernie stops running. Wade says, I think the e-stop, yes, I'm saying e-stop. I think the e-stop is working. Maybe. And Dr. Fairweather takes a few steps forward. She's not in the initiative, so I'm just rolling with it. I don't like the sound of this. What have you done? Oh shit, it did work. The machine is malfunctioning. Uh... Wade says to Bernie, 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 put me down. Put me down. <laughs> Bernie puts Wade down and Wade says, everybody out now. Wade said that? Yes. I'm going to shoot the guard that has low health. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go. And then you're gonna go? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, baby! I, I like honestly take a frustration shot at his foot. And he goes down and Wade says, Teresa, I said, and then every I run. I said, everybody out. Why did you do that? And the guard, I didn't respond. I'm going. The guard says, you're not going anywhere. And he tries to grab Wade. Fuck me! <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Wade rolled a 13. I'm so sorry, Batch. Wow. <laughs> Wade shoves the guard up and says, I don't know what happens when that thing overloads or malfunctions. We need to get out of here. And that includes you. To the guard? Yes. The guard looks at Wade, looks at the machine, runs over here, looks at the other guard, and says, Let's go. CC, you're up. All right. Um, well, uh, which way would be the best way to get out of here which which way should we should we be heading out um and i'm assuming she would know this she's familiar with the facility the give me a second here um <laughs> The the way the guards are headed, actually, the uh, the south, either of the south staircases will get you closer to an emergency. Sorry, actually, which exit? The either of the south exits. I'm assuming the down is south. Yeah, will get you closer to an emergency exit. But then, as I was thinking about that, there's an emergency exit by all the the stairwells when you get up to the the ground floor. So any any stairwell would be fine. 
All right, I'm going to point this way and tell the kids to go that way. Opposite direction from the guards. Okay. And everybody say this way. So, five, ten, 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 I guess I, I can't, like, use the key card each time each person runs up to, like, open the door for them. I don't know. <laughs> just hold... You can just hold the door for them. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Ryan, you're up. How big is Sarah? She's, like, 4'10", isn't she? Yeah, something like that. Let me check, um... Basically, would I be able to, be like, carry her? Yeah. Okay, I've got a 5, 10, 15, pick her up. And then 20, let's see, 15, 20, 25, dash as a bonus action see, that would be is it double yeah you just I'm get carrying... to move your you get to move your speed again if you dash no because i'm carrying somebody is it like is my movement have oh only if you're over your encumbrance which you shouldn't be oh well in that case uh 15 20 25 30 dash again as my action uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Bernie's up and Bernie's gonna make a break for the door. Proxy, you're currently being carried, but do you jump down and keep going, or are you going to stay with Ryan? Jump down and keep going. <laughs> okay. 16, 60, yeah, perfect. Dash, dash bonus action to get there. You don't have a key card. You gave it to Teresa. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm holding the door, though. Yeah, she, she's, she starts oh, hacking door. that door. She starts hacking the door. Yeah, she starts hacking the door. <laughs> you don't have any tools on you to hack away at it, or else I would let you. She's got the cell phone from the other officer, and usually in places like this, um, the key card would be actually in the phone, so you could scan using your phone to get into the door. So technically, he might have a key card embedded in the phone. But I don't think that's how this one's working. Yeah, that and it would be locked anyway. Oh yeah, true. It'd be locked. All right. I know I had a magnetic key card in my phone case, but that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Teresa, you over here? You well, not over here, but you can hear. Oh, no, with the alarms going off, you can't hear it, so that this... What's your passive perception, Teresa? 13. 13. Make a perception check. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so you don't hear it. But if you're looking back, you see Todd go out the south exit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I would be looking around before I went to make sure. All right, you're up, Teresa. Did, did Todd not hear me say this door? He did.
Teresa, you're up. I'm so sorry. I literally was talking. I didn't hit the fucking button. Oh. All right. So I just want to make sure. Is Wade staying or is he forcing us to leave? He or said everybody he out. So he's going. Well, don't say well he said he's he going. said he's going. He said he's going. I don't know. I feel like he's lying. I'm, I'll run to CC. Burn it. Bonus action. Uh, no, action dash, sorry. That's it. Judy makes a break for the door. Wade follows after. Grabs her by the back of her coat. And yanks her to the ground. Says, yeah. you're not going anywhere. Walks up. Looks at Cece. Looks at Bernie. Says, I need to fix my mistake. Please take care of my kids. What the fuck? Persuasion roll. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'm assuming that what? me and Teresa oh, of don't course, hear of course. No, you yeah. don't hear. It. What would I roll against that? No, you just decide if that persuades you or not. Unless you want to roll, roll insight. I don't think it would, but let me see. Okay. <laughs> well, shit. I think Bernie should roll. Bernie's gonna follow Cece's lead. Okay, Wade. <laughs> I see ya, bud. Shit roll versus shit roll. So do you do you leave without him? Right. What? I said do you leave without him? It's not my turn, it's the guards. Oh. Do you leave without him? <laughs> <laughs> um I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and say, You better stop that machine and meet us outside. I'll do my best to take care of the kids. Thank you. I'll just nod and motion to Bernie and I will head up to this door. All right, now I'm gonna pull us out of initiative. Bernie follows CC through. Yeah. Why is he not coming? I'm assuming Dad's behind you. He will be. I don't think he will be. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me roll with my negative one. <laughs> you can't beat it. <laughs> my negative one perception or er, persuasion. Um. Why, Just go, why, Ryan. Why is he not coming? He has to stop the machine. know what this machine is you don't need to know yet I kind of want to attempt to run back yeah I'm really tempted to I'm kind of like looking at Ryan and looking back at them 
Bernie stands in your way. Um, I am going to attempt to go around him. He's going to attempt to stop you. That's what I feel like Ryan would do. With an 18 athletics, he attempts to stop you. Dang it. Yeah, he stops me. Kid, can I? let's go. Can I try and push through CC? You know how shitty CC's been rolling. Don't knock her on her ass. That would just be embarrassing for her. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Ryan started it and Teresa would still do it, so she's doing it because Ryan did it. This whole thing was us coming to get our dad. Like, so I have to think about what my character would do, which is get my dad. Not a fan of this player versus player, but if y'all are willing to roll with it. I'm not, I'm really not doing damage. It's literally just trying to move them out of the way because I don't want to hurt them, but I want them to move. So she rolled an athletics, but I have a athletics against her. Athletics or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Athletics. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you knock CC out of the way, or prone, whichever you prefer. I just, like, just out of the way. I'm not trying to knock her on her ass. Alright, but... and then Bernie's gonna try and stop you. I was about to say, and then Bernie just throws an arm up and just clothes behind you. With a 14. Reroll, right? Yeah. Please roll low. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. How do we get advantage on all these? You made all these characters like super skill overpowered here with all the advantages on their skills. Uh, remarkable athlete. <laughs> the, well, I have, remarkable athlete is literally the initiative and athletic. Yeah, that's from the champion. Subclass. Gotcha. So, whereas he tries to uh, use his strength to grab me, I uh, slip out of his grasp and go past him. Can I keep going? Yeah, you can go to the door. Hmm. Ready for some shenanigans? Yes, the door's locked. The door does not open, even to the key card. Fuck. So I start banging on the bitch. And I'm like, red in the face, just trying to get through Bernie, but he's holding mm -hmm. me there. So I, I back up and I uh, just give like a loud scream and I just kick the door a few times oh, and I frustratingly turn around and just start heading back to them. Okay. And I'm like running. All right. Everybody up and out. Begrudgingly. <laughs> Roxy doesn't even know half of this is going on. So. No. And as, as just there, I'm waiting at the door. <laughs> as Teresa's running, it just looks like bottled up fury and rage. But you will ask him when they come up to the door, where's dad? He got locked back there. We can't get to it. Trust me, I tried. And Bernie says, just go, kid, just go. Why do you have to do that? 
Because he's trying to save everyone else. And I'm gonna open this door and usher the kids up the stairs. Tell them to go up. Uh, how many levels do we need to go up to? Three? Uh, you just need to go up to the ground floor, which is one level. It's a high. It's a go big stair. It's a big staircase because it's down a little bit. But you just have to go up to the ground level and then get to the emergency exit, which is um, just a little ways down from the staircase. Probably so I'm has assuming, a big red light. Yeah. So I'm assuming with, um, with this with the alarms going off that the building's being evacuated. That there's alarms going off throughout the entire building and the building's being evacuated? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna tuck- I'm gonna tell the kids to put the weapons away. And to stay with me and Bernie. <laughs> so that it looks like we're escorting them. I do so. I do so begrudgingly. So you got the emergency exit? Sorry. Yep. Yes. Okay. And yep. the uh, the building is being evacuated and people are uh, flooding out of it. Um, not really knowing what's going on, why, why they're being evacuated. Um, as you are running out of the building, you hear sort of like a low rumbling sound. And then another wave hits like the the um, the haziness washes over everything. But this time things actually start to change. What the fuck? Uh, where's my... Oh. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that either. The UEC building starts to turn from metal and glass into a building made of stone oh and the paved parking lot start to turn into dirt and grass the cars start to turn into big chunks of rocks on wheels useless the flintstones meet the flintstones <laughs> uh, they're the modern Stone Age family. As everything starts to revert to the Stone Age. I look down at uh, the baton and gun I have. I look down at my cell phones. Your gear has all changed. Aw, oh, shit. Your... Hey, hacker, how's this gonna work out for you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> Your pistols have become short bows. Your batons have become clubs. So we had the pistols, like, tucked inside our pants. Um... Do we suddenly just have a freaking bow like jutting out of our freaking pants? No, they <laughs> how, are. How does that work? They are slung to your backs. However, bows are slung to your back. Over the quiver. Yeah, over the yeah. Your uh, the string is on your chest. The uh the you now have arrows instead of bullets. Uh, the knives you got are now flint daggers. Your um, your bulletproof vests are now just pads on your chest. 
Uh, Teresa's uh, full body armor is now layers of hide. All of your Damn. gear is now stuff that would be made in the are way. Are we wearing way furs? What, what are we wearing? Like furs, cloth. Yeah, your your clothes have changed to uh, to furs and cloth like material. And what about the cell phones that Francie had? The cell phones are now. Um, just rocks. rocks. <laughs> Straight right. rock, bro. Sending stones. Yeah, send it through the air when you throw it. Yeah, well, don't get rid of them. Um. Uh, I'm not changing anything in my inventory. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. CC's gonna look at Bernie and say, "The bastards finally did it." But it comes out as booga booga. <laughs> and Bernie says, I don't know. Wade said that something went wrong. Yeah. I don't think they meant for the technology to turn back the Stone Age. I think they just wanted the environment to, but they fucked up. Didn't he say something about Aegis? Aegis. Aegis. Aegis protocol. Aegis. I thought you said Aegis. I assume it's like a shield. Is it A-E-G-I-S or A-G-E-S? A-G-E-S. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd assume the A-E-G-I-S. Do you know what this age, what this, this ages protocol is, CC? I probably would not, because I'm, I'm just a doc doctor, but I don't... That would be up to Batch to let me know if I would know anything about it from like... You don't know talks. anything about the Aegis Protocol. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna shake my head no. Well, this is fucked. Look around us! How in the hell do we get back? Wait, what if we go back into the room? Will that have, like, the stone version of the machine? You don't know. Do you, uh, I was like, do you want to try and go back? I like tell them. You, you notice that. What are the other people doing? That's what I was about to say. You notice that the other people, um, around you that, um, most of them seem to recognize what's going on and they quickly start to go back into the building some of them seem confused at first but then continue to leave as if everything's just normal and they're just walking walking away like they were leaving work. Okay. Can I do like a insight to see if it's the people who have been tested on or have had access to the machine? You wouldn't know. Okay. Um Cece's gonna say, let's go see if Wade's okay. See if he's still in there. Yeah. Do you go back in the building? Yes. Yeah. 
you go back in and everything in the building looks like it's made out of either stone or rock. Uh, there are lots of plants. Uh, it, it's like the building itself has reverted to Stone Age building materials. Uh, you're not sure how those materials are supporting a building of that size. But it's the first some, wonder of the ancient world. But it's somehow standing. Um, and there's obviously no keypad to go back down into the machine room. Conspicuously, no one is guarding it at the moment. The alarms are not going off anymore, and you see people quickly... Well, because alarms don't exist. <laughs> yeah, alarms kind of wouldn't exist in this whole age. I think more along the lines of the thing that was making the alarms has turned to stone and can no longer make the alarms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's nothing there. There's no noise. There's nothing alerting people to anything. Not even like something you would hear in the Stone Age, like somebody yelling and shouting. Like nothing like that is alerting anybody to. to and I'm assuming it would be very. Uh, uh, Echoic? E echoic? Echoey. Yeah. Echoey. Well, if we can get down to the door, I mean, and try it's to just going to be open. a stone door. We can get the door open and call for Wade. You open the door? Yes. Yeah, we try. So you open the door. And... You head down the stairs towards the machine room? Yes. Yeah. As you get about about down to um, the ceiling level of the room, you meet a floor of stone. And you can't go any further. Didn't this staircase used to go down farther? But there were stairs here before. Why would those stairs just suddenly disappear? I start just stomping. It's not like it's not like polished stone. It's just earth. Yeah. I really hope that since it turned back in time, it didn't turn everything underneath us just a straight rock. Oh. And I think that's a good place to end it for tonight. You could say it's a, a cliffhanger. Ha. Uh, it is. We're on rocky waters, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Right. No cliff or water. <laughs> Keep it solid, guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, that went way better than I expected. I loved how it went. All right. That went awesome. But for now, I think we'll keep it going. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I saw we had Robert Ad set at one point. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Um, next week, he is risen, and the week after that, we are coming back for episode four of Ages. Wait. A team of the luck. <laughs> everybody Yay. say their goodbyes. Everybody say their goodbyes, and we'll get out of here. Goodbye. Have a good night. Make sure you hug your loved ones. Don't get, don't, don't get yourself back in time. And we'll get out of here. Have a good night.